Here we go, 2005 Legacy GT. Uh, I have my helper, which is my daughter, senior year in college. And so she's going to help out. Looks like she's having a little trouble there. Uh, high school, not college. Oh, there you go. You got that one loose. Okay. I've heard a lot of... Uh, haven't seen the video. Um, so definitely going to make a video. The valve passenger size passenger side valve cover is um leaking oil and i guess this all the subarus do especially this one um anyway we're gonna get in there um and see if we can take that valve cover off because there's not a lot of room without lifting the engine and i've read you have to lift the engine you don't have to lift the engine you do you don't on a regular um legacy you do you don't so anyway we're gonna start by taking the tire off and getting as much access to there and cleaning it all off so right now we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, air intake take off the filter your mess um, sensor uh, this uh, air hose and the um, cover to get in there so that I mean that's pretty easy um, there's a bolt down there for this and so little by little we're just gonna go, just get in there this is not the hard part that's the easy part um, sh that should not take a lot of explanation but I will try to show you when we're in there okay there is a 10 millimeter that I took off right from there and then now there's a 10 millimeter I'm taking off from there and then this should come off I've already loosened this part and this part okay next I would just put these together so that you don't forget and I'm just putting the parts over here as I'm taking them off so you don't forget that goes with that okay next thing I want to get a we want to get a real clearer view of this. So we're going to take the power steering hose off. And so we got our pump. <laughs> okay, I forgot to hit record. But basically, we're going to remove this power steering hose. So this is going to come off. Took a little to get it off. We're going to use a pump that we got at Harbor Freight. Really pretty cheap. And uh, remove all that. And then take this hose, move it back. And then we're going to start getting a, a better view of our valve cover gasket and it looks like we're gonna have to remove the timing cover but i will let you know um and then i see our packs spark plugs and then i see well we'll get deeper in there okay removed the hose just clamped the back but be careful because there's still some at the bottom so we had to put a little cover there to make sure that uh, we got it oops <laughs> We're gonna have to tie this back somehow. Um, yeah, we're gonna just tie it there. But then I guess that'll give us, tie that there and that, that gives us enough access so we can see it. So we'll let that drain a little bit and then we'll get deeper into it. In the timing belt cover, um, the three bolts just to get this part out. And I broke this little part here so we're gonna have to figure out how to protect that belt. I don't think we're going to have to take the back part of it out. And I didn't think you have to take the front cover. But it just, it did give you more room. Um, as you can see. And we'll figure that out. Now, the big test is, are we going to have to lift the engine? That's something that I'm not real clear about. But, because uh, I keep hearing different things. Take the dog bone out and the motor mounts out. and um, So, we'll see. Uh, right now... We're going to put some compressed air in there, try to get as much gunk out as possible. The other way around. Remember, pull that back. Pull the sleeve back. And then pop it in. Pop it in. Don't press this. There, it's in. Now use that and blow as much stuff out of there as possible. Okay, still digging. Um, 
we need to remove these two hoses, but they're super hard. This little this little clamp here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of a weird clamp. Put your screwdriver in there and just click, and this lifts up, and you in it right there. See how see how it lifts up. Anyway, it grabs onto that, but we're gonna have to remove uh, this radiator. Um, reservoir whatever this is because we can't lift these hoses up and so we're gonna have to lift those hoses um, and when we lift them and they're really hard so it just they just won't come out so we have to remove all this so we're gonna keep removing stuff oh so, this was on here like this okay so underneath it has one bolt, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter that you gotta take out. And then what I didn't realize is that this part probably comes out, but I've forced it out and I broke this part that it should have just like slid out. So I'm gonna have to secure it. So anyway, uh, and then it had these two hoses. I moved it over here cause it's leaking and then this one. So you had to get those two out. And put it again so you can see it. It was like this. There was one hose there. And then after I got it out, I was able to reach the other hose down here. And then I've uh, just moved it on the other side. That's it. But not too smart. Broke that little piece. This little rubber stomper that held it to that. So now I'm going to move that out of the way. And now we have a clear view of these two very hard hoses that uh, need to be removed. Oops, where'd they go? There they are. See my finger? These two. All right, so it should just be a matter of pulling up on them, and except they're really, 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 really hard, so I'm gonna need to uh, hands. Looking down at the two um, hose, where the hoses were, these are extremely brittle. And this hose, when I took it, when I lifted up, it actually lifted out. And I was like, where's that from? And um, there's actually, it looks like either, let me see. Let me go around this side so you can see. So it goes inside there. Actually, I had it turned around. So it goes inside there, but as you can see, that cracked. Because it's, it's extremely brittle. I guess that's high heat. And it sort of has these heat guards. But And the second one was even worse. So when I pulled it out, it cracked right there. So I'm buying new parts. And um, I have to chase that one down. You can see where it broke right here. Which, which is that one. It goes down there somewhere. So more work. Um... But those had to come out or else this thing would not come out. So let's see if we can see them. There they are. They're nice. Now they're clear. We still haven't answered the question. Can I take, is this enough clearance to take that out? Which we'll have to answer that question in a little bit. Down to nitty gritty. I took uh, the one of the packs off, the spark plugs. That was easy, 12 um, millimeter. But this one is a little bit harder. I don't know if you can see it. I have a wrench on it right now. Let's see if I can get a better view. There, do you see the wrench is on it? And it's, there's a little bracket, but you're gonna have to use, you see the other side of the wrench right there? That's the kind of wrench you have to get in there with. Cause there's some little bracket holding some wires and that uh, won't allow for a regular wrench to get in there and a, a socket is not going to happen. So I have this um, that uh, wrench. I don't know what it's called, but we're starting to remove it. And that's a 12 millimeter. Okay, this is where it helps if you have small hands. Um, you got to get in there and get that bolt off. Okay, it's going to drop to the bottom. Can it get no, don't let it drop to the bottom because I think it's going to get caught in the cat. So once, so let me show you what she's taking off. So it's hard to see. Basically, 
she's gonna she's taking this off and so oh it doesn't fall off when she does it it just it's stuck with it oh, okay, cool. and then what you do is you you pull it out and then turn it 180 degrees and it should slide right up but that is the hardest one to take out so I'm still not convinced we're not gonna have to lift the engine to get this out all right when she's done I'll uh, show you what she was doing it was like that and then you pulled it out and then rotated 180 degrees and then pulled it out like that okay Let's see if we can get a view of where where that's at that's probably too close but that's where you can there they go those are the two that are came out so now i guess we're ready to take out that uh, valve cover and see if with this clearance we're able to remove it it looks awfully tight um i don't know we're gonna sometimes we're gonna have to lift the engine but we'll find out looks like we have different sizes coming out of there um, so you have to be careful with that and um, but she's working around um, got them all loose it's not a lot of torque that they're supposed to be down so will the engine have to come up will we have to take dog bone out will we have to take the motor mounts out to be lifted by the oil pan all these questions have yet to be answered so but we're there and uh, we're going to put Oh, a big flathead screwdriver without trying to mess up the valve cover. We're going to take that off and take a good look and see what uh, where all that is leaking from. It's another big one. So, so far we've only had one small one from here. We're working our way around. That one was big, that one was big, and that one was big. So we got three big ones and one short, or three long. They, they do look about all the same size, except for that one. And that one came out of this corner. So continue to remove, I believe there's six, maybe seven. Got a short one off the bottom right? Mm -hmm. All righty. You mean towards the front of the car, right? Yeah. yeah. Bottom front is a short one. Uh, just to let you know, this is what I broke. This one is good and this is the one that I once you take that bolt off, you just pull up. And I pulled up, and then I thought I was clear, and then I broke this one. So we're going to have to secure that in there while she removes the bottom. There she is. Getting her fingernails all messed up. Oh, they're white, too. Oh, well. And that's the clearance we have right there. That's all the clearance we have to take that off. So it's going to get real interesting real fast. This is a big one. I think all the corners are small and all the not corners are big. Ah, corners are small. The interior ones are big. Good to know. Awesome. Yeah, that's a big one. Remember, you're going to need this tool, a 10 millimeter. Uh, it's a, I don't know, offset ratchet or whatever it's called. That's the one we needed um, to get those off. Hey, I just pulled it a little bit and it came right out. Now the moment of truth, can we lift it out of here? So, so this, let me get on that side of you. The sun came out. Let's see if any way to move that out. And this is where I'm thinking we're going to have to lift the yeah. engine up a little bit. Oh. What is getting caught? Okay, we're going to look around and see what's getting caught. It is out. Maybe do it underneath. Maybe not. No. All right, we're gonna take a look at this. Out. You don't have to remove the engine. I mean, lift it or anything. You and it was you moved it forward, then you tilted it up, and then it came up this way. And here's how it looks. We're cleaning it up. Um, so yeah, the trick was 
move it forward towards the front of the, the engine, then tilt up, and then it came out right this way. So, um, it looks like someone tried unsuccessfully <laughs> to put some sealant on it, on the top of it. Um, or did they put that so it wouldn't get on the timing belt? I'm going to guess that was it. No, I see some seal. I think they try to put sealant like on the outside of it to try to get it stop sealing. So anyway, um, hard parts over. So I got to order some hoses, um, and then to put it in, uh, you got to put it in reverse. Um, I'm, there's an order to uh, put uh, those bolts on and so I'll continue the video showing you that but I guess that answers the, the big question is can you get the valve cover off on a 05 fourth generation super legacy uh, without lifting the engine and the answer is yes you can yeah these uh, these seals were rock hard and so they're very brittle and um, yeah, so we're gonna clean it out really well put the new seals on and then put some um, I know they're rubber and people are saying don't use RTV um, gasket um, the sealer um, let me go inside and show you which one but they're saying to do it not to do it um, and in the end we're gonna go ahead and do it um, the ultra black advanced formula gasket maker um, and of course we're putting it just every around it very little and here's the gasket so we'll continue be part two I put the gasket on and I put gasket sealer around and then remember I'm it's gonna go down like this and then that way all right and I'll try to get someone else up here to hold the camera, but you gotta be careful while we put these things on. I'm gonna clean a little bit more. And, uh, and then we'll try to slide it in there. Okay, putting everything back in reverse. Um, tightened everything down. To get this in here, remember, do it, turn it 180 degrees and then like slide it in. And then you have to be careful that it actually, that it goes inside. Let's see if you can see it. You can't really see it, but that it actually goes inside the spark plug because I've put it in a couple times and it misses the spark plug and it doesn't fit right. So you really have to put your finger in there and guide it until you see that it, it actually did go, went in. And then it, when it goes in, this will sit down very nicely. Uh, that's the hardest one to get in. Um, and then of course attach this bracket, which is a pain in the butt. Okay, so um, we'll attach that bracket and then tighten this down. I don't know the torque on this, but it's probably just nice and tight. Because I can't torque it anyway. You can't get a torque wrench in there. Okay, this is definitely part two. Um, fixing what I broke. As you can tell, there was two. That was one, so I guess that's that should have been pulled out. Now the other one is right below it. You see it, that one? That one just broke. And if I follow it, it looks like it's only not too far. And there's the connector right there. So, part two, take this intercooler off. So that bolt 14, 14, 14, and I should have a real good view of it and it should be easy to fix. Okay, this is definitely part two. So I took off these bolts and then undid these and it actually came off from over here. So this is to get the air colder. And now let me put this down gently and get the flashlight so you can see. This has turned into another job. The good thing is, here's my hose. 
that broke. Okay, so it's another one of those Subaru ties. And that's this is the guy. So um I also see that's the PCV valve, I think. So that's my might change that while I'm here. Uh, anyway, that's the hose, hose that I need. Here's the final thoughts. Those are the two hoses I have to get. Uh, probably, hopefully you don't have to do that. This is found on the internet, but basically 4.7 foot-pounds. Start with this one. A, go across to B, up, C, down, D, then go across E, F, G, H, and then I, J, K, L. H, I, J, K, L. Um, and basically, that you have to go in that order to make sure that it's torqued. Uh, you can find this graph uh, diagram out on the internet. Um, but that's it. Um, I got some work to do, obviously, but um, there they go. And I uh, have to put those back in. So the good news is it's going to cure really well. I'm not going to be tempted to uh, to try to drive it until that's cured. Because i got to get these two hoses. So those are the final thoughts. Uh, good luck with your project. Hope this helped. Does it help? You know, please give me a like if it didn't. That's okay. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what I could have done different or better. Thank you.